today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use roll coverage concepts and techniques to be able to slow down some of the most popular offenses in Madden 24. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to use roll coverage to really slow down and kind of counter to a degree the gun bunch offset formation. Now, when I say roll coverage, I'm talking about rolling your safeties over the top or over the top of problem areas for your defense. And when you couple this concept with abilities such as deep out zone knockout, you can kind of use the rolling uh, movement pattern of the safeties to be able to really counter some things people are doing defensively. I used to call this flow coverage back in like Madden 25, uh, back in 2014. I was actually thinking I was doing this out of 4-4 back in the day, uh, but we can now do this out of dollar. I want to show you how it's really a great way and um, just technique in general to play better defense. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. This defense has seen a ton of updates this year. It's got the best blitzing concepts in the entire game. It's got uh, really good coverage concepts. It's really the best chance, in my opinion, that you're gonna have at being able to consistently stop the main offenses that you're probably gonna be facing. Now, if they're in a run heavy offense, we also have a four, three, even six, one defensive ebook. We also show you how to stop the run out of dollars. So if you're not a Patreon member, it's a great place to get better at Madden. For just ten dollars, you get access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates, everything for just ten bucks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is going to be down in the description. All right. So what we're going to do is we're in the dollar three two defense. We're going to be going over here to the safeties package. Now I have already subbed in, uh, subbed out, and then subbed back in all of the players where you need to have them. Um, the main thing I want to just quickly stress is both of your safeties. In my opinion, if you're going to do this. You really want to have deep out zone knockout on both of your safeties. Now, there could be an argument to be made that you want to have deep out zone knockout on your short side safety and your wide side corner, and I'll get into that in just a second. But um, but anyways, let's let's get into it. Okay. So real quick, in terms of how do you want to align your defense? Really, you want to kind of live out of the stock alignment from dollar, but it, you can also run it on baseline. And then you just want to have your zone coverage on match. Now, the only reason we have auto flip off is for the blitz threat of the cover two press. If you guys don't know by now, cover two press is the best blitz in Madden this year as of right now. And um, what you're going to see is we're just going to uh, basically pin our D line. We're going to stand about right here. And a lot of times this guy's going to come right into the A gap and get pressure. This blitz is super hard uh, to counter, in my opinion, because it's kind of random. And you can actually pair this five man or four man with a five man pressure. This is part of what makes dollar such an incredible defense because it has a actual legitimate blitz threat in a game where not a lot of defenses do. Okay. So with that in mind, let's talk about the roll coverage technique. So when I say rolling your coverage, I'm talking about rolling your coverage over the top of problem areas. So this is actually a really good example. If your opponent's running wide side bunch, it's a little bit easier than if they're running short side bunch. The reason why is because against wide side bunch, it is harder to throw corner routes. This is why you could make a legitimate argument that this defender over here on the right, on the wide side of the field, should have deep out zone knockout, and you should basically sub these guys in and out based on hash mark. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this outside corner into an outside third. We're going to put this safety on the bunch side into a middle third. And then we're going to put the safety on the solo wide receiver side into an outside third. From there, all you really need to do is we're going to drop a hard flat over here on the right-hand side. And if you take a look at this defense, we actually have a lot more help um, to the left than we do to the right, which is fine. Um, we just need to uh, take advantage of that. There's some cool things you could do with this slot corner that not a lot of people know about. You can put him in middle third. And then if you wanted to do something like this where you man up the slot, you can certainly do that as well. It's kind of the same basic principle. Um, because we're taking advantage of the hash marks. So when they run things like a C route out of uh, double post, this is going to do a really good job because if you watch this outside third defender, he's rolling over the top of that C route and has potential to be able to knock the ball out. Um, another thing that's really, uh, really, really valuable about this type of a coverage concept is it's really helpful for defending things like corner routes or flood concepts. So if you look here to the right-hand side of the screen, because my bunch is to the wide side of the field, this corner route pretty much not going to get open, especially if you have deep out zone KO on this outside corner. But as you can see, he does a really good job when he is specifically when they run their bunch to their wide side of the field. Now, let's say, for example, that they decide, okay, well, we're going to run our bunch to the short side of the field. Then this needs to kind of change your defensive philosophy in terms of how you're going to defend this. 
So we're still gonna use roll coverage, but now we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to roll our coverage over the top of this bunch short side. So we're gonna go with a, um, a outside third. I like to back off the cloud flat on the short side. It's gonna help him play a little better. And then we can really get into almost like a double flat if you want to, or you could have a shaded down vertical hook and then recloud this guy. Those are a couple different options there for you. And then from there, um, what you can do on this backside, because we have this uh, safety that can go into middle thirds and stuff, we can put the safety into a middle third and we can put this guy into the outside third. This is a little bit more of a balanced approach to defense. Another thing you could do to get a little bit more of what I would call a traditional roll coverage technique would be to put this guy, put the, make the defense look a little bit more like this, so to speak. Um, unfortunately, just with the way the adjustments work out in the safeties package, I think it's a little bit more effective if this guy's in a middle third and this guy's in an outside third so that you can still have a hard flat as opposed to having a vertical hook. Um, you're still kind of getting at the same basic principle. And due to the fact that your user is on the bunch side, it's going to help a little bit. But uh, anyways, so what will happen is if they try to run that corner route to the short side, this backed off cloud flat normally is going to do a pretty good job of at least deterring it. And then that outside third is rolling over the top of it, as you can see. Now, all the while, you have a four-man blitz that is one of the best ways to blitz in, the, I think, arguably the best way to blitz in this game. Now, that doesn't mean we always have to send the four-man. We can actually bluff this blitz. One of my favorite tactics is to put this guy in man coverage on the tight end. And then from there, what we can do defensively is we could go into a coverage that looks more so um, like this because we know that this vertical hook is going to do a good job against any kind of shallow crossers because we shaded him underneath. And then we have this cloud over here on the right-hand side with a hard flat and the tight end is manned up. So if they run verticals, for example, all we have to do defensively is we just have to get over the top of that crosser and this guy's running himself right into coverage by running right into a hard flat. Roll coverage is a really good way to kind of um, essentially just utilize these safety thirds. I think they're so effective and they you can just do so much with these safety thirds that you can't really do in other coverages. As you can see here, this is just the basic coverage concept. And then if we wanted to uh, apply that coverage concept over here, you know, it would look something like this. This is a really, really good way to play defense in this game, in my opinion, uh, just because it's able to, um, it's able to just kind of get in the way of a lot of what people want to do defensively. And when you can do stuff like this, um, you see here are these vertical hooks and stuff, really, really good and allow those safeties to come over the top and challenge the crossers and the corners a little bit more effectively. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link in the description.